Hi Tubies, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. We got lots going on and lots I want to do with you guys. Today I'm going to show you how I store my seeds. Um, a lot of people do it the same way on YouTube. However, I see them showing links to Amazon and it's extremely expensive to buy it that way. Sorry, just being honest. When I was at Walmart, I found a seed container for $13. The same one that everybody's saying to go to Amazon and buy for almost 30. This one. Just go to Walmart, go in the uh, photo section where they sell photo albums and everything, and it'll be there. They're there with everything there for you. Even these little containers. $13. Same containers as Amazon for $28. So I'm, j I'm, I'm not one for uh, telling people to spend more money than they should. Um, just to make a couple bucks off of an affiliate. I don't have affiliates. I won't run them. Um, because... If I find something cheaper somewhere else, I'm not going to tell you guys to go spend more when I spent less. It's just wrong. So, this isn't about making money. It's about helping each other out with gardening and crafting and everything. So, we got to save money where we can, especially in today's age. So, um, yeah, these are really nice. I used my label maker that I bought from Walmart for much cheaper. Um, and made labels for them so that's how I labeled them so I do annual perennial I do exotic which means pretty much they won't exotic to me means that um, they're not a perennial here so they might be a perennial in Florida but they're not a perennial in Pennsylvania but they're exotic and I love them and I just like them for that year or whatever and I grow them Sunflowers, because I love sunflowers, I always grow a lot of them. Ground covers, vines, nasturtium. Nasturtium has its own container because I love nasturtium. They're beautiful plants. Do you ever watch Lord of the Rings, and, you know, with the hobbits and the little hobbit houses? That's what they have growing everywhere is nasturtium. So, a little tidbit for you. Poppies. I love poppies. They get their own container. Annual and perennials. I have herbs, chamomile. I grow a lot of chamomile, so I always have a lot of seed packets. Pipe tobacco seeds. Tomatoes, peppers. I, tomatoes and peppers I put together. Spinach, lettuce, and kale. Pumpkins and gourds. I do in-ground vegetables like onions, carrots, anything grows in-ground. That's how I do that. And then climbing vegetables. But the pipe tobacco seeds are very interesting. So I was at my local garden greenhouse and they had these beautiful plants. And I was like, those are gorgeous. So I was looking at them like, there's a tobacco. I knew that, but I'm like, what the heck? She said they're pipe tobacco and people grow them for the flowers. I'm like, okay, well I grew one and I fell in love with it. So when it got to the end of the year, there were seeds just falling off of it. And that's what's in here. I saved the seeds. There are, I don't know, thousands of seeds from one plant. So I planted them and they come up and uh, I was pretty surprised because sometimes when you do that the seeds are no good and maybe there's something to them where they have to wait or they have to be cold or whatever but no these ones just came up for me this year so I'm gonna be planting those back behind the pond with an elephant ear a couple elephant ears because I like that big bushy look of like Jurassic Park but yeah this this is great it snaps so as you can see, it has a nice little handle, perfect, very durable, and um, very convenient. So when I want to go out, and I'm going to be doing a video on my herb wheel. So we're going to plant seeds for the herb wheel, and um, all I do 
is I just grab my little herbs container and I take it with me instead of fussing through I used to have them in boxes and seeds were everywhere and they would fall out everywhere but now this just makes it so much simpler so I thought I'd let you guys in on that um, so remember Walmart and one Walmart I found it in the photo section um, where the albums are, out photo albums, and in another Walmart, I found it in the craft section. Both the same price. They were thirteen seventy-seven, I believe. And this was just right now. We're in a beginning of April, twenty twenty-one. That was last month. I found them. So um, that'll be March, twenty twenty-one. So get yourself one of these. Excellent, excellent. Um, I couldn't be happier. So for technically $14, there you go. So when I do my seeds, so let's see, I have my annuals. I just throw them in there. So simple, so easy. Morning glory would be in vines. Just throw them in there. It's nice. I can fit a bunch of packets in each container. Um, Johnny Jump Up. Those are perennials. They go in the perennial area. Now, if I run out of space, I'll think about that when I come to it. See, I have a couple shoved down in here only because. I'm trying to keep this. I bought this um, hibiscus from Amazon, the seed packet, because I couldn't find hibiscus seeds anywhere that I wanted. But I found these, and it had really bad reviews. There was only a couple reviews, really bad reviews. I'm like, you know what? Most of the time with these reviews, you can't really go by them. Some people just aren't gardeners, and they don't, and nothing ignorant. They try to plant seeds, and then when they don't grow, they give a bad feedback. These sprouted. Um, I'll put the link in the description. I don't make any money. I'm just show, sharing with you what I find. So this is hibiscus. Um, supposed to be a perennial zone 5 to 9, 24 to 36 inches. And it is red. So there you go. And they all sprouted, every single one of them. They said they give you eight seeds in hopes that four will sprout. They all sprouted. So we'll see how many make it though. That's you know, that's on me. That's not them. So but they were great. They sprouted and that's outside pride company. I don't I just buy seeds that I like. I don't like go to anybody special. So I love soap work. And the only way I can find the seeds is from Barry Moore's. Um which I never really have a problem with their seeds. Sometimes you'll get some duds, but uh, not all the time. So that would go under ground cover. But if you haven't grown soapwort, and I haven't for a few years because I actually forgot about it, because I used to grow it at my old house, I forgot. Um, this cascades so well over rocks, and it's a great ground, ground cover. It just kind of looks like a cloud of pink flowers it's beautiful so um, really easy to grow just getting it the seed is not so easy I've you know I had some seeds sprout and then they died right away so I'm gonna try something else and then and mallow that go, also goes in my annuals but yeah I just thought I'd share this with you I see so many people using their affiliate links to Amazon and making people spend twice the amount don't do that just go to Walmart just to get this case um, so simple so easy just go there and uh, you'll be happy it's very very sturdy so okay well that's it for today um, we got lots to do um, I'm going to take you with on the journey of doing the herb garden and I'm going to show you how I plant my 
um, elephant ears and don't forget with elephant ears you got to dig them up if you're not in the zone which I did last year I forgot so you know you got all this stuff on your mind and it's so hard to remember to dig up certain bulbs and that was the one I loved and I forgot but okay if you're not subscribed please consider subscribing and if you are thanks for being here you guys rock okay I hope you all have a wonderful day bye